my beautiful family in today's video we'll be discussing how god used me to save my husband's life before i got to say yes to your proposal before we got to marry eventually and if this is what you want to listen to sit back as we discuss life i'm sorry today is not video about hair or something else it's about life, it's about reality, it's about the beauty of God, it's about the mercy of God. God bless you. My name is Siri Mercy Sister Lizzy. I so much appreciate you for clicking on this video. And please subscribe and share this video to encourage someone. Thank you, Abba Father. Before we start as usual, let us pray because we can't do without this God. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the ear hear the sound of my voice right now. I thank you because you have not forsaken them. I thank you because you are aware of what they are going through. I thank you because at the right time, Lord King of Glory, you will favor them. Father, I thank you for the patience you have given to them to put through up to this point. Father, I thank you, Lord King, for the grace upon them that they keep on waiting on you. Father, I thank you because the devil will not ask them where is the God that they are serving. Father, I thank you because I know at the right time you will not be glorified in their life thank you about father we bring we bring you glory and honor and praise this moment we are here to say thank you not to request father we appreciate you in jesus name we thank amen i will not be editing this video okay because i'm tired i don't know if i look like it but i am tired okay yeah because uh, i was just busy taking on one particular thing doing one particular thing for good four to five hours and my eye boy is like falling off so it goes like this you are welcome once again i'm happy to share my own personal life with you that by special grace of god you could get something out of it all strength out of it courage and all of that it goes like this it was during coronavirus that everywhere locked down for the father i and my husband we knew each other or we know each other before one or two things got to you know so he was getting ready to come and pay us visits because he drives i'm here in torino italy where he is was bayern in germany my husband is a german man i am nigeria and on this day he was preparing to come and visit us okay um all of us i and the children or the children and i we are aware of that already so before the day that he was planning to travel down within two three days and there was hurt on my spirit to travel and go to him and the price the urge in my spirit was so huge that i told the kids let's go and surprise papi he said yes i said yes and i rushed to office to get tickets the ticket was too expensive and i bought train and at night so the following day i just took things together and that very night so the night so the day that he is to travel with car to us to italy here so uh we travel and we could remember the period there was a little bit of release of lockdown that uh, you could travel but wear mask with mask that was a period so people were just traveling with a little bit british space that we, 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 we were having to travel after you no know, quite a long time of no movement so that was a period of time and i'm not good at writing things down so i don't have the data months okay <laughs> so I travel. We took a whole night that was very exhausting and stressful. And the following morning, we land in Germany. And looking at the time that my hobby, then that was not yet my husband, is to travel down because it took minimum of 10 hours for him to travel and drive down to here to where we are. So normally, if she's taking date and then if you're traveling daytime, uh, which where you have to move in the morning so i get it done for the train very early in the morning this faithful day i was now playing trick and tricks 
saying to him one or two things to delay him from moving so that we will not lock out our sides. That was how I continued and I later told him, I gave my girlfriend something to come and give you to deliver to me. So therefore you must wait before you you, you go or you move. So he waited only for us to arrive in Tazi and it was such a beautiful surprise. Like, yeah. So about two days later, I had a dream and this dream and then the spirit of death visited me and the children we sat down on the mat and when we got off on the mat i look back the mat was spread on top of grave on grave open grave open hole like grave you know mat is long and grave is long so it was spread and i said ah so we sat on grave and we didn't sit in we didn't fall inside so when i wake up i knew that this dream is a very serious one and by special grace of god i begin to pray the children and i pray that very moment i begin to pray for against the spirit of death and every negativity that that dream might represent <clears throat> so the following day because as a believer we were celebrating, sorry, we were practicing celebrate. And uh, I and the children, or the children and I, we got our own room. And my husband has his own room. So they're not allowed to sleep in the same room. You know what I mean? And if only the, he went out or he went to work. When he came back, he wanted to get into his room, bedroom. He couldn't. The door get jammed. And the door is not a jam door. The door that you just shut and it will just lock. It's door that you have to open and close. Whenever you open and close it, you have to lock, you know. And he tried to open the door. He couldn't get it. The door just got jammed for just no reason. And um, he tried to hit the door with his shoulder. And he broke one of his wrists or two of his wrists without knowing. So, he tried everything within his power. All of all, we try. I was kind of yelling at children. Do you enter Bappy door? They say no. They didn't go there. Children could go there sometimes. Be one be jumping on the bed, okay? And then um, nobody. Then the Holy Spirit kept on speaking that this is not just ordinary, okay? With me, I have faith. Even if I pray for one second, I know that yes. It is done. And we eventually caught somebody that broke open the door. That was how my husband was able to get into his bedroom. And after a night, the dog, our dog or his dog, had an attack. And he took the dog to a veterinarian. Is that what to call to an animal dog? so to hospital and what came back with the dog dead so when he came back with the dog i was just like oh he's sleeping i couldn't understand at first <clears throat> i couldn't understand and then yeah the dog died and the moment i got to understand that the dog died the holy spirit spoke that the spirit of death that visited was so serious to take something and he took our dog. He took our dog. <clears throat> I could remember before I traveled, I thought one of um, my ex housemates, the lady that we used to live together when I was a German. So I used to live in German. That was how I met my husband. Okay. That is the reason that I'm Italian now and he is there. I told him we were just talking. I said, okay, my husband's dog is about to die. So I want to come and see him before he died. And there was a lockdown, serious lockdown. No movement. 
because something was coming and God was putting words on my mouth and preparing me. I didn't know. So I later understand or got to understand that the, the spirit of death actually came from my husband and the seriousness of the mission of the devil he, he couldn't go empty and he took our dog so that was how our dog died that I, I up to this point i've not been able to post a video of how we bury our dog how we cry we mourn our dog because people will not think that it's what you want him because even me when i'm watching the video I was just like is it dog that i'm crying for as if it's my human being that died or somebody close to me so that was how god used me to save my husband's life because he led me there suddenly and i saw a stone coming and by special grace of god through his mercy he hacked it to our voice me and the children and my husband is alive today and um So the lesson of this video is sometimes majority of us we think when something wants to happen, God need to call in a huge way, more serious way to know that hey, this thing is serious. Most of the time, God does not act like that. Because say once have I spoken, twice have you heard. So it's a tell you that when you face something in your spirit it is better to be careful for nothing according to bible also than for you to be careless it's better that you you, you attend to something you expect something you attend to it and at the end of the day nothing happened then you later say oh i saw it coming i was not smart enough to detect or to design it so at the end of the day um I accept my husband a proposal and we eventually marry and be a husband and wife. So sometimes I see my husband not as my husband but as a prayer point. As a prayer point. All to these days is my prayer point. So I'm more God sent me to in life to be his own intercessor than to be his wife. Okay, so compared to everything that is happening, that is just it. So, know that yes, God loves you. Please be smart and known for the spirit that when God whisper, you catch it. Because something, nothing can be more serious than that. I did dream, I did see vision. It all just come, came within me. And I obey at the end of the day. This is how God serves the situation. So that is just it. And uh, please share this video. Subscribe to encourage somebody. And whatever you are going through, whether you are able to design it or not, whether you are able to say it coming or not, whether you are able to dream of it, have a vision, hear it or not. And I pray that God has seen everything that happened in the dark. By his mercy, may he always stand up for your help, for your rescue, for your safety in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I will see you in my next one. Bye for now. Bye bye. I love you with the love of Christ. Bye. I'm happy making this video. I don't know. I was taking my bath when it dropped my spirit to make this video also. Can you imagine?